Middle Eastern and North African Illinoisans will soon be represented on official state government forms, studies and reports. That's thanks to a new piece of legislation headed to Governor Pritzker's desk. One of the people responsible for the bill, state representative from the 21st District, Abel Nasser Rashid. Uh, representative, thank you for joining us. Uh, your districts include Chicago, Berwyn, Riverside, and, and Bridgeview, and, which includes Little Palestine, correct, which is, uh, this speaks directly to. Can you tell me the purpose of this bill um, and, and how this will affect the Arab population of the state? I mean, they'll finally be counted, right? Yeah, thank you so much for, for having me on, Brad. Yes, this is a historic moment for our state and for our country. Illinois is set to become the first state in the entire nation um, when Governor Pritzker signs this legislation to count Arab Americans and other minorities from the Middle East. So, um, you know, as an Arab, Arab American, I um, I haven't had a box that I could check that reflects my identity on, on forms that ask for uh, racial information. Um, and so we, uh, state agencies will now have to add the box Middle Eastern North African um, so that Arab Americans and other minorities from the Middle East are counted for the first time in our state. This is so important. Um, first, it sends a message to the Arab community that you are valued, that you are seen in our state. Um, but it also will give us, once the data starts getting collected, it'll give us incredibly important insights into outcomes in education, in employment, in healthcare, um, that will then allow us to develop targeted policies to support uh, the Arab American community um, and all minorities in the Middle East. Yeah, so as you said, this will help when it comes to whether grant or funding in education, health care, employment, et cetera. Uh, that was my question, so you handled that. Uh, an interesting question I have for you is, is what did you ch what box did you check? Uh, because we've followed this story as CBS2 investigators, so uh, we, we'd learn a lot of uh, Middle Eastern, North African, um, Arab Americans were, would check the white box. Yeah, I generally try to check other if it existed. Now, many times there is no other box. Um, if so, I check other. Otherwise, I'd leave it blank um, unless it was required, in which case you'd be required. I'd, I'd have to check white. Uh, were there any findings um, or statistics from studies you did in preparation for this bill uh, and its passage that surprised you? Any, any particular uh, things that were egregious, et cetera? There, there was a groundbreaking study that was done recently um, by academics and community organizations um, uh, at UIC and Moraine Valley um, and Arab-led community organizations that showed that there is a disparity between Arab Americans and the broader population, in particular the white population. For example, um, if I remember correctly, there is a $30,000 difference in median income between mm -hmm. Arab Americans um, and people who are white. Um, now, that fact will get completely um, clouded or erased um, when you lump Arabs into the white category. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you, you miss that insight. You miss that piece of data. Um, I know that during the pandemic, uh, we weren't able to have data on uh, vaccine rate, vaccination rates in the Arab American community. And leaders at Arab American Family Services were able to work with the governor to have um, the Department of Public Health add the Middle Eastern North African category on vaccine forms so that we can use that data to properly target our community for vaccinations. Um, so there are plenty of examples where um, the lack of data um, uh, gets in the way of us being able to pass good policy. Yeah, and so does gridlock and so does political partisanship. And this is uh, the remarkable kind of anomaly out there and one that you sponsored and were you know helped in writing and, and one that had widely bipartisan support now now it's just waiting for the uh, governor's signature correct that is correct this was passed unanimously wow. um, out of the house and senate um and you know i'm proud as the first palestinian american to be elected to the legislature um to have been able to deliver um, on this piece of legislation um, and incredibly grateful to my colleagues um, and to all the stakeholders uh, who helped make this happen. This has been this is this is not something that's um, uh, a, a recent effort. That people have been fighting for this for decades, as, as you may know. 
um, and your viewers may know, um, the MENA checkbox was supposed to be on the census in 2020, mm -hmm. but Donald Trump required the census director to remove it, setting us back on the federal level um, for some time. Um, but Illinois is marching forward. Yeah, MENA being Middle Eastern, North African, a box uh, that will likely one day in Illinois soon be available to check uh, in part Thanks to State Representative Abdel Nasser Rashid. Representative, thank you for joining us on the stream uh, and congratulations. Thank you so much.